There is a, a vision that I saw of uh, four musicians who were singing uh, at a concert. Not gospel, you may sit down. Uh, it was a vision of four musicians, two men and two women. They were singing as a quartet, you know a quartet. It doesn't mean that they are, they are actually a quartet, it's just a vision of four different people. It does not necessarily mean that they are what? A quartet. But they were singing as a man, a woman, a man, a woman. A quartet. Say a quartet. Say a quartet. Yes, they were singing as a group of four. Now, but they were singing worldly songs. It was as if they were singing hip hop. You know hip hop? Look at Rene and say, do you know hip hop? Some they are acting as if they only know gospel. <laughs> when you could actually recite hip hop songs before you came to Christ. <laughs> so they were singing hip hop. It was a concert of hip hop. There were many young people. And then all of a sudden as they were singing, live on stage, from behind them, I, I saw in swift flight, two very powerful angels come and carry them from the stage. Come and carry them from the what? From the stage. So one angel was carrying a man, this side, and a woman. The other angel was carrying a man and a woman. So when you see a vision like that, you will think maybe it refers to death. So I saw the vision when I was in South Africa. I wanted to speak the message at Midrand, when we were doing a revival at Midrand. But the Holy Spirit refused, the, the, because I was, I was going to give a wrong interpretation. <laughs> I was going to give, because when I saw the vision, I thought there are four young musicians who are threatened with death. What else would being taken by angels mean? Two very powerful angels, they are busy dancing. They are busy dancing and the young people are hysterical at a concert. Show, they call it a show. Yes. And then all of a sudden there is no one on the stage. Say all of a sudden. There is no one on the stage. Yes. So these are fairly young musicians. Not, not really young. Uh, I perceive that uh, one of those men is actually older than me. But they are fairly young in that they are not old people. Some, some of them, they are younger than me. So what does the message mean? Say, what does the message mean? The message means that uh, there are four musicians, two men and two women, who are very prominent in hip-hop circles. Uh, with the hundreds of millions of followers. Billions of people follow them because of their exploits in wealthy music, whom God is just about to arrest through his angels to receive salvation. Yes. So God is just about to, to send arresting angels Say, arresting angels. Just like uh, that angel in Revelation, which was flying in mid heaven, declaring the everlasting gospel. You know the angel? It's there in Revelation, in the book of Revelation. So, the angels of God are red. Two of these singers, the woman and the man, They've got billions of followers. Their songs have been watched on YouTube by billions of people. Billions, literally billions of people. So, the way I see it in the vision, a man and a woman white, a man and a woman black. A man and a woman white, a man and a woman black. Yes, so... God is after them. Say, God is after them. 
Say court is after them. Say court is after them. Yes, so they are not married to each other. It's just four different people. And then there is a man and a woman who are like a king and a queen. Again, in hip hop circles, there. As far as God is concerned, we must pray for their salvation. Because, especially for the woman, her days are numbered. She has done enough if. Depicting herself as Jesus, riding on a horse, and all of that stuff. There is a limit to blasphemy. Look at your neighbor and say, there is a limit to blasphemy. Yes, there are angels that protect the integrity of God. When you are blaspheming God, at a certain point, judgment has to be released. So we must pray for this woman. She's a black American. She's an African American. I saw an angel descend upon her as she was singing on stage. Millions of people are watching online. So many thousands of people are watching her face to face as she is performing. And the angel just swung a sword next to her and she experienced a stroke. You see. So uh, we must pray for her. She has done too much blasphemy. If, she, if we permit her as intercessors to blaspheme God further, she will die unceremoniously. She will die what? Unceremoniously. She's very rich and she's very famous. She's almost like a goddess in hip hop music circles. And she made a covenant with Satan to, to be insulting God. But God being the sovereign ruler of the universe, at a certain point, he has to judge you. At a certain point, as you continue to do evil, you leave God with no choice but to what? To judge you. So there is a man and a woman. The man is no longer that much active. It's the woman who is now active. It's a husband and wife team. We must pray for their salvation. And especially for the woman. The woman is very blasphemous. She's a blasphemer. She's a blasphemer. She does things, does pictures and all sorts of things which are insulting to God or Jesus. So, any moment from now, judgment can be passed on her. And when judgment is passed, you will see it. Let us stand and pray.